Good morning, everybody. Tuesday morning. February the 4th. And keep up with days. Hope everybody's doing good. I uh, got in late last night. We had an investigation to do, a little incident. Everything is okay so far. So, run around yesterday. Uh, didn't see any significant wildlife, signs of wildlife. I just actually got my hand dirty helping some crews that were short-handed and stuff like that. So, yeah, and I, I still got it. Anyway, I found some nails. They can, you know me, I'm going to find this stuff, you know. Uh, I look all the time at something that I can talk about or use, you know, and I'll keep these. I got a whole bucket full of stuff, stuff I bought or stuff I found, you know, over time. So it can be used for, you know, a little steak, steak something down, make a something to get game with, make a little spear. It's got ridges on it. Kind of blunt on this one, a little sharper on this one. It doesn't matter if you, you know, you can take a rock and sharpen this thing real good. Stuff, you know, out, it's common in nature, you know, you gotta think about that kind of thing. Uh, so. Uh, I found some other stuff too. Found a big strap. I can't get it. No, I can't get it. It's a big strap that they use on uh, big trucks strapping down heavy equipment or loads, heavy loads and stuff. It was uh, ripped. Right before the shackle of the hook. And uh, of course we had to cut it off because it's of no use anymore and disposed of it. So I disposed of it. And uh, there's a lot of things that stuff can be used for. I've used it for like a, a guide when you're going putting stuff together. I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. It's real wide. It's about three, four inches wide. Nylon, yellow, big strap. And it can be used for various things. You can make a sling out of it. Uh, you can even make a, a swing out of it, you know. Yeah, you got some trees and stuff. Loop it around or tie a rope in it, make you a seat. Things like that, you know. It doesn't, just something to sit on. It's a lot of good uses, you know. I mean, it's trying to. I found an array of things yesterday. I don't remember what all there was. I find so much stuff, guys. I'll uh, I'll do a video on all the stuff I find, you know, like in the week or something. Uh, so, it's got a potential chance of rain today, and today, more so tomorrow, it's like 80, 90 percent, 100 percent chance of rain, and I'm going to look at the radar later on in today, so, you know, because, uh, Predictions change throughout the day. You never know 
one day to the next. It could be accurate, it could not, it could veer off. We could have a, a cold air mass, warm air mass coming in, just push it off. So, I mean, there's a lot of things to consider whenever you have to uh, plan anything. If you still have access to your phone or checking the weather and stuff, like in the afternoon or night, you can, you know, do your to-do list, prioritize your list, most important down to little fiddly things. Uh, and then say, well, it's going to rain, say it's going to rain 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, I know I've got to move firewood, split, and stack it dry, and then keep it dry. So, as soon as daylight breaks, or even a little bit before, I need to get that done, or we're not going to have any firewood. Check traps. I got some traps along close to the creek or something, and it's going to rain. Well, it's wading through slick mud and stuff and sliding off into the creek. I need to do it first thing in the morning, check my traps. And if there's uh, an abundance of rain coming, get what you can and then secure your traps so they don't go off or you don't want to trap something and then leave, have to leave it there for two or three days. Now, there are two, two reasons that it's not humane and two the longer something sits out in a trap, the more likely you are to have other predators that are going to come and get what you got. And then if they start seeing that and smelling and you, you've lost your spot, you might as well move on somewhere else because they will repeatedly come and frequent that area. Well then you'll have to move and that might have been a prime spot and it takes a while you know I've had to move traps about five six seven days you know just boom oh yeah of course I was doing mink and and uh uh coon stuff like that and uh so it, it came a bad storm, and I didn't get out to my traps till two or three days, you know. I checked my traps every day. And, uh, well, fox or coyotes or dogs or domestic wild dogs, whatever, you know, they go in there and eat, eat what I had in the trap, and then. I went ahead and blew it off, you know, well, I'll go ahead and reset it, and then I'll get back on my vertical schedule every afternoon checking my trap, and it just, they kept coming back, getting my, getting my uh, catch, you know, my kill, so I just pulled them up for about a week or so, and uh, cleaned them soaked them and uh but set them out and then I was fine you know I, I started back home every now and then I would get uh I think it was a fox because they would pull I had steel traps they would pull and they pulled the back in and then they get off into them you know so that was the sign of a fox or a coyote. So, but my trapping was for birds back then, and there was an old man. And I guess his wife—I never—I didn't know. I don't know if he's married or what. But 
he made a coat or maybe his wife if he was married made coats and stuff and out of the first and uh, paid me ten dollars for a good pelt and uh, that was pretty good I, it just, I was just fascinated I had some good old steel traps I bought them at uh, Western Auto I don't know if they're still around or if you even know of Western Auto it was a place down in Sigaville no, it wasn't in Sigaville. It was, uh, I want to say it was somewhere around Ennis, Texas. But anyway, it was a little old, like White's Auto, and then I think it was White's Auto. Yeah, I do believe it was White's Auto. But, uh, Western Auto, White's Auto, just different farm places. Uh, you know, you can buy steel traps. And I would love, I would love to get some more. That was, that was a good deal. So, anyway, guys, I hope everybody's doing good. Check out, you know, look around. And once you train yourself and you run the what if game in your mind, and, and you train your brain and when you're walking around and stuff and you don't have to look like this you know whenever you're walking around in different areas it'll come natural you go well, I can use that yeah you know so something to think about guys always be on alert and on the lookout for things that you can use to survive in a situation and it, it doesn't matter what it is it could be anything if you're lost or trying to get you know trying to seek recovery somebody to search and rescue you know, got some old tires around here and there. You got some green brush. You can create smoke. Things like that. And, you know, I don't, uh, don't like using any type of petroleum product because it's not good for the environment. It's not. But in a survival situation, you try to get rescued, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And uh, as soon as you're seen, have a form of extinguish material, something to extinguish that. Dirt is the best thing. And wet, wet dirt. If you put water on a burning tire, it's a mess. Wet dirt, wet sand, something like that, that that's better. Because it encapsulate and smothers so anyway guys like I said hope everybody doing good try to learn something new try to learn as many primitive skills as you can and uh, that way you're you're a step of the head you know step ahead of the average person the average Joe education educate yourself Watch videos, read books, creative redundancy, CR. I'm I'm just amazed at uh, different things that is just common in every household and vehicles and you know what you find in trash and multiple uses of you know and and some of the things that. I didn't even think about it, you know, I'm like, he talking about an umbrella, uh, a notebook binder, uh, you know, there's different things, he breaks it down, and then you think, well, I can use that for, you know, a spear, three-pronged spear, 
or I can make a pouch out of a notebook and fire starters out of the cardboard in the notebook, stuff like that. Check him out. I mean, and his statement is basically, I don't know it word for word, but we are here to help someone else. Whether it be one or whether it be ten. You know, depends who watches this video. And, uh, and we hope that you obtain some vital good information. And some of it you may think is, nah, I don't, yeah, I ain't into that. Well, move on to another video and find something that you into. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you how many videos I watch on a slow day. And I learned so many different things, and I pick out people like uh, CR, Creative Redundancy, and uh, that uh, Addy, Exploring with Addy, pretty cool. I, I really, I really enjoyed those. Those, I'm going to tell you, and I, I don't want to offend anybody, but those are my two, two top uh, subscribers. And, uh, and nothing gets anybody else, people. I love each and every one of you. And I will do everything I can to help you with your interest in survival or bug out. Now, I'm more about bug out survival. Being able to drop at a moment's notice and take charge and do what I got to do to take care of the family. That's just the way I am. That's the way I'm trained or known, calibrated, whatever. So anyway, go find you something. If you find something, it can be in an office complex. It can be in a warehouse. It can be out on job site outside. Click. If you collect a whole bunch of stuff like this, do you know what kind of barter material you have that you can trade for stuff? <coughs> you know how many people would love to have a screw or a nail? Nails? Rope, twine? Containers? The list is, is just way out there. You can just make a list and I guarantee you it'd be about the size of a 200 page book on the different things that you can collect if you bug in or bug out if you have excess stuff that you can store it's worth its weight in gold, I guarantee you, because people are going to want the simple things like this that they can't get anymore. Food stuff, material, building material, knives, toothpicks. It, you know, just an array of things. Silverware, fork, spoon, knife sport, you know, all kinds, of, just think about that, if you want to get into this, watch the video, they're everywhere, if you really want to get into this, get your mind right, start thinking on that line, because, you know, we've got several different things going on across the world, it's global, and we may have to start planting something. Anyway, whew. always read something positive, watch positive things. Don't hang around negative people. You don't need any armchair quarterbacks. And uh, improve you. Improve you. You got to improve. You ain't no good to nobody if you're not on top of your game. 
Anyway, see y'all. Thank you.